Hello YouTube, this is Will from Will Brett Design, back with another video. Today we're going to be looking at creating a calendar in Figma. Um, not just uh, a calendar that's kind of just visual and static, we're looking at making an interactive components calendar. So let me show you what that looks like. This is what we're going to be building, um, and this is as simple as it is to build it. So let's have a look. Let's run the prototype and just give it a few seconds to load. So what we've got here is we've got a calendar and because we're using the new interactive components feature from Figma, we can have these nice hovers. Um, and if we jump back here, we we don't have any prototypes here. This is the only page we've got. Um, this is literally all it takes to build this. So we've got our interactive components here and then we've got our design here and we've got all these different things going on here. So we can actually select calendar things here and we can, we can't uncheck them yet, but we'll build that into the design as well so we can actually uncheck things as well. Cool, so let's get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new page and it'd be cool if you followed along. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna press T and draw a letter or a number, sorry. And we're gonna set this to medium, whatever font you want, I'm using Roboto and size 16. Okay, in fact, let's change that to bold. Okay, now we're gonna press Shift A and we've now added an auto layout frame to this. So if we go to our alignment tool over here, set it to center, because we want it to be centered. And then we're going to drag this out and we're gonna make this 39 by 39. There we go, now we've got a perfect square. So I'm going to name this uh, day, and I'm then going to duplicate this twice. So we've got three copies of the same thing, and let's just align that nicely. There we go, so that looks nice and tidy. So we've got our day over here, this is going to be our default. Then we're going to have our hover state. And then we're going to have our active state. We could have an inactive state. So if there's say 30 days in a month and we're actually showing 31, we could have one of those days as inactive. Um, but we're not gonna do that for this. We're just going to keep it simple. So let's go here and give this a nice background color. So what we're gonna choose is I'm gonna use these colors that I've already selected over here, so I'm gonna choose this one. I'm gonna do the same for this one. So I know they're the same color, and then I'm gonna come back to this one and I'm gonna knock that back to 50% opacity. And I'm also gonna select both of these and change that font color to white. So if you notice here, I've done this quite a few videos and I've never actually explained it. Um, for white and black, you can just do a shortcut and do three F's and that will auto fill it for you. You can do that the same for black and there we go. So it's just a much quicker way of doing things, which is pretty cool. Right, so we've got our states here. Let's go up to here and create a component set. So we've now got our day component set ready to go. So the way I did that was I named them all day forward slash and then the state and then when you complete uh, create your component set it then creates all the different variants for you the other option is if i just undo that you can go here create multiple components and then combine as variants over here and it does exactly the same thing it just reduces the click so if we go over to our assets um, and pull in in fact you don't need to do this but i'm going to do this real quick i'm just going to change these colors just because in this example here, um, I've already, actually, let's change the I'll just delete my previous example so I know I'm using the correct asset. So there we go, there we go. So I've only got one to pick from now. You won't have that issue, it's only because I had that uh, page one as a demo. So here we go. So we need to do seven across because there are seven days in a week. So that's three, four, five six and seven. I've actually skipped a step here and we'll come back to why later. So, and I believe we want five down. One, two, three, four, 
five. And then I think we only need three across here. We might need four across. Okay, so we've got all our things selected now. So we just need to go through and, oops, not change the opacity, but redo all of these real quick. There might be a quick way to do this. I don't know the quick way yet. I So if you, if you know a quick way of doing this, um, let me know in the comments below. That'd be a big time saver. But because this will be a component at the end, whoops, not 90, 19, um, you only have to create this once. So this little bit of extra effort isn't too bad. Getting there. I didn't keep making typos. 29, 30, whoops, and 31. So we're gonna assume there's 31 days in the month we're working on here. So now we need to add the actual day titles up here. So I'm just gonna do a bit of a cheat, copy that, detach the instance, and then I'm going to put in a day there. I'm gonna make that real small, I'm gonna make that 12. So as we know that that is the same, well it wasn't the same size but it is now the same size, sorry no it's not, if we make that 39, uh, da, da, da. we need to fix the height, oh, actually we don't need to fix the height, so the width is the same as the one below and we can now just copy them across like this. So it still feel, fits the same grid. And one more. Just come in and rename these. Cool, so there we go. We've now got our calendar ready to go. So I'm going to group that frame it and then I'm going to add an auto layout to it. So if, if that was a bit quick I'll just undo all of that. So what I've done here is I've pressed command G to group it and then I've pressed to frame it which is option command G. So it's now inside a frame and then I'm going to apply an auto layout to that frame like so. I'm then going to center align it again and I'm going to add 20 pixels of padding around the entire thing and then we're going to give it a fill of white and let's give it 8 pixel corner radius so it's got some nice rounded edges and let's just add a quick shadow just so it pops a bit more and just change those settings a bit. Let's make that 20. So it's just a bit more subtle. There we go. So this is our calendar. Um, and what we'll see is if we run the prototype of that now, it won't actually work. And I'll explain why, because we've missed a step. So we, we haven't actually added any kind of interactions to those day components yet so we just need to go back and do that quickly so if we go back here and back to our component variants here we need to press shift e or click prototype up here and actually tell it to be interactive so this isn't an on click this is a hover so we need to do a while hovering state um, 300 milliseconds that's going to have a nice transition with the smart animate and we're going to do an ease in and ease out and same on that one, but this time it's an on-click. And then we want to be able to go back to our default state. Again, on-click, I'm going to smart animate it. So that should be everything ready to go. So let's have a look. Here we go. So we're now in the prototype and you can see as you hover, we've got these hover states and we can click in, select our days. And it's got a nice kind of slow fade from white to the hover and then hover to the active but we can also go back as well 
And that's it. That's as simple as it is to make a calendar, an interactive calendar in Figma. I hope that's really useful to someone. Um, you can probably extend that further. Like I said in the video, if you have any ways of doing this even better, let me know in the comments below. Um, knowledge sharing is really important in the design community and that's how we all improve as designers. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, leave in the comments below any feature uh, video requests you like, um, you'd like me to record or any feedback on the videos so far. Please feel free to check out my other videos. I'd really appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.